Well, joining us in studio this morning once again is Sue McConnell from the Southeast Stu Bend County Library here to tell us about July's upcoming events. Well, good morning. How are you? Yes, good morning. I am great. <laughs> it is Sunday. Woohoo. Woo All right. So we have a lot of stuff on the table. We do. A few things to talk about today. So a bunch of crafts, you know, Tell me about them. What can kids make or adults or whoever can attend? Well, tomorrow is our summer reading kickoff. Um, we're going to kick off our summer reading program with lots of fun things. Um, there's a couple of craft projects. There's this adorable little lantern that we're going to make. We're going to make some bookmarks that Close fireflies, um, in, fireflies a jar. in a jar. That's right. What, what would an adventure be if you didn't have a trail mix to take along? Oh, so yeah. the kids will have their chance to make their own trail mix. Um, we're going to do a little axe throwing with these little cardboard axes. With an asterisk. <laughs> yes. Um, we're going to do some pin the hat on Smokey. Smokey is celebrating his 80th birthday this 80 year. already, it's, Smokey. I know, Smokey. <laughs> and then we're also doing an activity all summer long. Um, flat smoky so the kids will get their chance to color in their smoky and take him on adventures and take pictures we're gonna throw a little stem in there with each kid will get a piece of aluminum foil and they can design their own boat and then we will see how many bears will float in their boat now is that for kids of all ages if they want to make their own boat and I would say kids up to age 12 Okay. There are activities for the older kids, and there's also activities for adults tomorrow. So whatever your age, come on by. Um, oh, if yeah. you have not picked up your StarQuest uh, map, yes. Star Quest. grab that tomorrow. Um, there's also for the kids um, a road trip. They can do the things that, sa that say on the billboards, and they can be entered into prizes for that. Um, I do have some prize winners to already announce because early bird registration has been open the whole month of June. So we have Grace and Martin, Rowan Johnson, those are the kids that won in early bird registration. The tween winner is Genevieve Stoker, the teen winner is uh, Ava Pro Proslapsky, and the adult winner is Jesse Martin. There's well, congrats. I there know. There were some good prizes in that bag, if everyone were, remembers last month. There were some good prizes in there. And if you have not picked up your brochure for the children's department, pick it up because it is jam-packed full of things to do this summer. Of course. Now, can you tell me a little bit more about the summer reading kickoff? You know, what is it about? Who can sign up? You know, are there any prizes, goals in mind? Of course. Um, anybody can sign up. There are different age levels, pre-readers, independent readers, tweens, teens, adults, anybody can sign up. Um, it does not matter what you read as long as you read. We just want to encourage summer reading because even us adults, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. So we want to keep up those reading skills for the summer. Um, kids can set their own goals. I do not say you've got to read so many books, but the more books you read, the more entries you get into prize drawings. So, and yeah, the prize drawings are pretty cool. And what are the prizes this time? Um, so the bag I brought last week, okay. or last month, more of the same. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, some pretty good stuff. There is pr some pretty good stuff in there. Yeah, so everybody get, better get reading. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then just a couple of events, you know, before we wrap this up. Um, you know, you do story time in the park. We do story time in the park. We get usually over 100 kids and families to come. Um, I do story time, and then our partner, the Parent Resource Center upstairs, brings toys over, and we play in the park. We've got to encourage those kids to get outside and play. Of course, and then the Explore Local Parks, that's something a little bit different. They get to go out in nature. Yeah. That sounds like fun. So we've got six different parks we're going to explore. There's Denison, and there's Spencer Crest, and there's McKin There's a whole bunch of parks right around Corning. So I'm going to read a story. We're going to learn about the park how long it's been around, and then there's always an activity. Our first one that's in Denison Park, the activity is going to be a friendly game of kickball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how could you turn down kickball? That, yeah. yeah I might so have to show fun. up. And you go right I'm ahead and chub. <laughs> you can borrow a kid. There's lots of kids there. <laughs> All right, perfect. All right, well, I think that'll do it for us. Thank you so much for joining us Thank this morning. Thank you, and I hope to see everybody tomorrow. Yeah, and we'll, well, they'll see you tomorrow, but we'll see you here again next, next month. Next month. All right. Thank perfect. you. All right.